I've been playing a lot of Deadlock recently, and in 7 out of 10 games, the number of cheaters has spiked, whether on the enemy team or my own. I've already reported countless cheaters both in Discord and in-game, and I really hope the devs are working on a solid anti-cheat system to address this. Since the big update removing matchmaking limits, cheaters have flooded my queue. It's ridiculous. Honestly, I just let them end the game quickly so I can move on and spare myself the frustration. These brain-dead cheaters aren't even subtle. They're either blatantly auto-aiming for headshots or using more discreet body aim hacks. It's ruining the experience. I really hope the devs address this issue soon, especially while the game is still in early beta. I've already applied to be a cheat moderator to help with reporting, because despite this, I still love the game. I've put over 200 hours into the beta so far, and it's giving me the same vibe I had when I first got addicted to games like League, Dota 2, or Valorant. If VAC 3.0 isn't cutting it, I think they should consider implementing something like CS's prime matchmaking system. Maybe introduce a reputation system for reporting cheaters. Players with a solid reputation for reporting confirmed cheaters could trigger instant bans after a quick review. No drawn out process needed. This would encourage dedicated players to get involved in keeping the game clean. Another useful feature would be a death recap, showing where bullets or skills hit. For example, if I take an entire mag of headshots, that's likely aimbot. But if it's a mix of head and body shots, it's probably just normal spray. This would help with early cheater detection. Take Valorant, for example. Riot's Vanguard system worked well at first, but cheaters eventually found ways around it. I'm sure the same will happen with VAC. That's why community involvement is crucial. Experienced players can often spot cheaters better than any software, especially when it comes to things like impossible accuracy or unrealistic gameplay. We don't want post-game reports or delayed bans. We need action during the game. No one wants to waste time in a match that's already compromised by cheaters. VAC 3.0 has been solid in CS2, and I hope Deadlock can implement something just as strong, or even better, like Vanguard. I've already applied to be a cheat moderator to help out, so I'm ready to do my part. I know it's still in beta, but I'm really enjoying Deadlock and wanted to succeed. With over 200 hours played, I think I've earned the right to voice these concerns. A successful beta will leave a lasting positive impression when the game launches, so let's hope the devs step up their anti-cheat measures so we can all enjoy the game to its fullest. Let's review this player, Hayes, using an aimbot in my game. Cheats are especially noticeable if you're the victim. Your character's head shows sparks, indicating you're taking continuous headshot damage. We all know it's impossible to have such consistent tracking, especially when you're moving. Hayes is also using some kind of movement hack that lets them move to another lane in just seconds. There are also cheats that make players invincible, or allow them to fly for the entire game. Then there's the no-clip cheat, where players pass through walls and kill you. These cheats are very noticeable in the game. If we want a strong anti-cheat system when Deadlock releases, please help us by reporting cheaters in Discord. I know it's still in beta, but I'm really enjoying Deadlock and wanted to succeed. With over 200 hours played, I think I've earned the right to voice these concerns. A successful beta will leave a lasting positive impression when the game launches, so let's hope the devs step up their anti-cheat measures so we can all enjoy the game to its fullest. Watch these cheaters abusing hacks in the game, get familiar with the signs, and report them all.
still using Molotovs? Shit gets easier every time. Burn all of you. 